Hey filmmakers, welcome to the unboxing and product overview of the eFocus from ProAim. It's a very well designed motorized focus and zoom controller that comes in this lightweight bag. When we open the bag we see that all the components have their spots in the cutout foam. Everything fits nicely. First we can find the motor gears. They attach to a single 50mm rod which makes them very flexible and can therefore be used with any type of lens. It has a nice build quality and it feels very sturdy. You get two of them, one for the focus and one for the zoom of your lens. Next we can find a battery adapter. This will be used to power the motors. It has a very nice universal clamp that allows us to attach this battery to anything we want. It feels very sturdy and it's lightweight again. A battery adapter also needs a battery and we can find one as well in the back. It's a standard Sony and D model so chances are you already have a couple of these or you can also find extra batteries anywhere you want if needed. Next comes a charger for the battery and ProAIM really thought about everything here. You get a universal power adapter so wherever you live you don't have to worry about that. And it even comes with this nifty cable that is able to charge the battery in your car. And then there's the controller itself. It has an LED to inform you it's getting power from the battery and underneath that we see the two knobs to control each motor gear separate. That's one for the focus and one for the zoom. They turn very smooth and the controller also feels rock solid. It attaches to a single 50mm rod again, which makes it very flexible to use. And finally on the back we see the connections for all the cords. One is a standard power plug coming from the battery and the other two are the cords that go to the motor gears. And that of course brings us to the last compartment that holds one power cord and the two mini jack cords. These are standard cords, so if you wish to buy a longer or different color cable, then you can easily do that as well. And finally we can find two universal gears. They attach to any lens and they are needed as a good grip for the motor gears. Assembling everything is very easy, you can't do much wrong when connecting the cables. We are now able to control the zoom and the focus of our lens. And I noticed that the motor gears react very fast to the controller. Thank you very much for watching.